Welcome everybody to Virtual Europe's um, Edinburgh session. We're um, Arcadia Edinburgh Centre hosting a panel of um, children's writers based in Scotland and some in, um, in the USA. And our theme today is that we're going to talk about Scottish children's literature. In Scotland, this rich respect for history, to see all around a lot about, you know, the selfies and the, all the different um, tropes about uh, being surrounded by nature and in particular the city. There's also that sense of warfare kind of be, sometimes being the underdog. I think you tapped absolutely, uh, Gretchen, into that idea of the underdog. I think that is a huge thing in Scottish uh, history <laughs> and actually in Scottish literature in general. I don't know if the rest of you would agree with that. Sort of interest in my take is very much rural Scotland in that book and very remote area. You know, I know, Lindsay, you've got quite a different kind of historical, um, you know, environment and the pattern of secrets and it's it's so different even though it's set around about the same time. Yes, that's right, because it was it was set in Paisley and I had a really specific reason for writing it was because the children in the Paisley area, they would do uh, the Victorians as their their topic and, and they'd, they'd read a book that was set in London and I thought I'd really like them to learn about the history in Paisley, you know, the radicals, the poets, the, the weavers, the Paisley pattern, and that's why I decided to write it. Every time that I've managed to move a story out of Scotland to Scottish audiences, it's been because there is some tie to this landscape. And I've found, this is maybe a bit negative, but I found it's really hard to get interest in just stories set in Scotland that are just about the modern young person's experience of living in the world if they don't have a, you must have a Scottish angle. It can't just be set in Scotland, it has to be Scottish. Claire, you were talking about wanting the Scottish stuff to be very, very Scottish, but also wanting anything else to be for a wider audience. And there's this idea that maybe Scottish fiction isn't for a wider audience, it's purely for the Scottish market. And I think that's something we still have a little bit of a problem with. Yes, it is a problem, it definitely is, that, you know, getting You've got the kind of this the publishers down south have already got a Scottish author kind of idea. Yeah, it's tricky. And I think it's probably really important um, to think about diversity in our books as well. And I'm just kind of thinking about this from a fantasy point of view. It's kind of boring having characters that are all the same <laughs> so we should just have lots of different types of people um, and it, hopefully that just kind of makes the world a bit more real and a bit more interesting as well. I think it's um, definitely something that's affected my writing with the tiger skin rug story and um, the two main characters are Indian boys and I hear a lot about and read a lot about authors who want diverse characters in their books in order for child readers to see themselves in books. So um, if you're a part of an underrepresented minority, you'll be able to have a character that you recognize. And it would be nice if there were also more authors of, of your kind of cultural background that you could recognize as well. I also think it's important for Scottish kids who are working class to see themselves in novels because oh. something that children you know, especially up to the 80s and 90s, it was all very much middle class English children that were represented in children's novels. And I think mm -hmm. having kids, you know, even just white kids who are working class who are Scottish is quite a novel thing now, quite a new thing in, in mm -hmm. Scottish literature because they're just, they just weren't really there before. I love how the, um, how the richness of this panel, it's kind of like a big mosaic. We all do kind of slightly different things and we bring a different shade of colour into this mosaic, but together it makes something that's really quite exciting to look at. Just um, finally like to thank everybody on the panel and wish you well. <laughs>